Hey everyone, Neil here from Email Supplet, and today I wanted to share with you how you can connect Gravity Forms and Entreport. Uh, a lot of times on the forum I see people saying they need some third-party app to connect Gravity Forms and Entreport, and you do not. You can actually get Gravity Forms to push straight into Entreport without any third-party app. So why would you want to use Gravity Forms? Well, one thing about Gravity Forms that's kind of cool is you can build little mini shopping carts with it. So if you need more than just a single product, but you don't want some entire uh, giant shopping cart, for example, you have a product or a couple products that each might have one or two options that you want people to choose whether or not they add on at the time they purchase. Gravity Performs is pretty cool for that. So like here, I've made just a quick little example on my website and uh, you can just pick a product. Like I want product A, B, or C and product A, it's telling me now it's $200, and I can decide if I want the upgrade, yes or no, and if I do, it's going to be $250. And then, uh, of course, I can just fill in my info here. Gravity, and we'll just do gravity at test. And gravity forms, you can connect to your payment processor so it will actually process the payment for you here I didn't set up a processor or credit card info just for this quick example but if I submit this now thank you for your order and I head on over to Entreport you will see you will see that test gravity pushed in here and if I go into my purchases, there's two products, one at $200 and one at $50. Push those in. Um, gives me the record. And then from there, I could apply tags or rules or whatever to uh, send out the product or to send out emails just like anything else in Entreport. So how did I do that? All right. So in uh, Gravity Forms, here on my website, I set up... You know, here's the simple form I set up. I have my product selector. I have upgrades for product A, product B, and product C. I, so depending on which product they chose, you know, one of these three fields are going to come up conditionally. And then it's going to total that up for me. Now the key to this, to getting it to push into Entreport, is on the confirmation page. You'll find these confirmation pages here in... Uh, Gravity Forms. Now here's where it can get complicated because you need a confirmation page for every possible combination of products. So in this case I would actually need six confirmation pages uh, because I could have product A with, with or without option, product B with or without, and product C with or without. So I need, I need six confirmation pages. Here I just built two to show you as an example. Um, so if you start to get complicated, if you start to have a lot of products or options, these, these confirmation pages can get really complicated. I've actually had clients with up to 20 or 30 different confirmations for one form because there were so many options. And at that point, you, you probably might be better off with a third-party app that's going to connect the two. Um, but if you can keep it simple and you only need a few confirmation pages, it's, it's pretty pretty easy to do. So here in, um, if I go into my confirmation pages, here's my product A with the upgrade. Well, you know what, let's start with, let's start with product A without the upgrade. And visually, when somebody ends up on my thank you page, if you remember here, it just says thank you for your order. That's all they see. But behind the scenes, I have a tracking pixel. This guy right here an image that is loaded when this confirmation page is used. Now here, uh, I have to make this confirmation page conditional. So product is A, and my A upgrade is no. I don't want the upgrade. And that's when it's going to show this confirmation page. So where do I get this tracking pixel? Well, Entreport gives you a tracking pixel. So if you go into your administration, Scroll down here, you get this thing called Get Partner Tracking Pixel. And right here, 
is Entreport gives you kind of a templated tracking pixel that you can start with. The important part of this is it's got your account info uh, there, and that's the main URL you're going to push this to. And then you can build everything behind the question mark. Um, order ID is Entreport's order ID number. And here is Gravity Forms. So Gravity Forms builds these dynamic, it's going to build a dynamic link for me based on what's in there. So I can enter fields in here, like the entry ID. And then the email, email address, this is Entreport's logo, email. I find it's easiest if you just use exactly what shows here, email, last name, you know, exactly like this, except spaces would be an underscore. That always seems to work well for me. And so in this case, I have email, capital E, and email is equal to, this is my gravity form. So gravity form here, I can just put it, pull in email. And there it is. Um, same thing with first name, last name, and then item ID one. So this is my first item, item ID one, and it is equal to 26. Where did I get 26 from? 26 comes from your products. So if I went into a list of products here, and I forget which one I picked for this, I just grabbed a couple. Um, I think I picked this guy right here. Yep, here he is. So there you will find your ID number for each product in the URL. So right here is ID 26. If this is the product I wanted to show up when this form is submitted, then I use that ID number. The price, I'm going to push in the price for item one. They paid $200. That was my product A. I said it was $200. And they bought quantity one. Pretty simple. Now, if I go back, we had product A with the upgrade. It looks very similar, except now I have two products in here. So I have, um, again, same info, my entry ID, my email, first, last name. I've got all my item one information, but then I've added on item two. So item ID 2 is number 20. Again, I got that in the same place I got this. Um, I believe that was this guy right here. So up here I've got item ID 20. That goes right in my, right in my confirmation. The price they paid, $50. And the quantity, again, is 1. And I could keep stringing, you know, I could have three items, four items, I could keep stringing items on here. And everything just works with the ampersand and, um, and then whatever it is in Entreport, whatever the field is, equals, and then whatever your gravity form is. So, uh, yeah, I could just grab anything here. There's first name again, so. And, and we could just go on and on building an enormous string. Um, there is one trick to this that I learned recently from uh, Anthony over there. It's Entreport. Anthony helped me out with this. Thank you. Uh, you can use these to push in things besides products. And I, I had a client recently where they had already built a bunch of gravity forms on their site, had it all styled exactly like they wanted. So instead of going and building all new forms with Entreport, I just link these forms to Entreport using, again, this confirmation field. And the one trick we learned there is we have to have an order ID. Um, and if, if you don't have a product, if it, you can just make that a zero, and it will push in. But if you try to push in things from Gravity Forms without the order ID, it's not going to work. Learned that the hard way. It took me a few days, and then uh, Anthony was able to help me out there. So that's how you can push Gravity Forms right into Entreport without any third-party app. Uh, if you got any questions, you can hit me up in the thread below. And thanks for watching.